Yeah, okay, cool. So we're out there on uh, Saturday. Uh, I just got a bit of tape around that. Um, starter motor, just to hold it in position at the moment. Um, cool, so starting to run out of uh, spares, spare seven eighths, but uh, that's okay. We've got one or two lengths left over. Um, well, in stock at the moment, but we'll find some more. We found some more um, off cuts that I, that I had laying around, so um, yeah, this will be the um, sidecar side uh, passenger step. Uh, probably won't be a passenger on there, but that's all right. So we're going to get them notched up just with our little notcher there. Um, absolutely bulletproof. Uh, that's from not that's from um, JD Squared uh, Notch Master. Absolutely bulletproof. I'll do some videos of that today uh, as well. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get them notched up. They'll they'll sit something like that. That one won't be won't be as long. Um, it'll probably like get cut approximately about there somewhere. <clears throat> um, so you know, and then the outside beam will come around the the uh, sidecar wheel. It'll come around. It'll start about here and come around there um, onto there. So cool. So the other plan for today is uh make up this front loop here so we've got one two meter length of seven eighths and then we're going to bend up it's going to essentially sit come around here go uh, 90 degrees down that way um come out the other side of there and then just point out directionally that way um and once that one whoop, that was smart adam uh, I'm gonna have to find some better tape for that one just so I can hold it on the engine for now I swear I had like rolls and rolls of gaffer tape, but um can't find any of them. That's all right. So um, It's just until the bolts get here. Um, so as I said, it'll come out here um, and point just a little bit that way um, That's roughly the path it'll take um, And then what will happen is we'll make up an outside bar that goes around that way around this this outer sidecar wheel um, and then we'll make another another bar that goes straight down and meets meets this one that comes along there um, That's the plan for today. We'll get that bent up um, It's probably about three bends something like that first up 90 and then a, like a 15 and a 10 or something like that um, <coughs> Pardon me. Um, I do imagine to be something like that um, And uh, yeah, then we'll be able to that'll be able to sit um, in there and if I get some time, I'll um, bend up this chromoly plate. Hopefully I've got another piece because I don't think that's going to be wide enough. I don't think it's going to be, but I'll measure it up and see. Um, yeah, if I get some time, I'll get the um, folder out, uh, mount all that up and, and fold that engine plate um, up as well. Uh, cool. That's the plan. Um, yeah, we're going to get stuck into it. Um, Cool. We'll leave it there. We'll get into it. Oh, actually, sorry. Last thing um, as well. We got some uh, triple clamps. Oh, look at how trick they look. Woo! Looks so good. Um, so essentially, yeah, these will sit um, at the top and bottom of the headstock. I'll just put one on. There. So they'll sit on that point there and turn backwards and forwards like that. Um, so these sizing, I'm pretty sure are seven eighths. Um, I'll measure it up just to double check, or I can just try it actually on the tubing. Yeah, cool. That'll pivot onto there pretty good, and then um, that will get done up. So yep, that's it. yeah, cool. So that'll go into that spot, and then that'll get tightened up with that bolt there. Um, which will be good. Um, so I'll make the down tubes for the forks uh, seven eighths as well, and that will then come into the front end loop wherever I put that. Yep, wherever I've put that. Um, I think it's in this box actually. That's a box of 50 cc stuff. Um, so yeah, then I'll make that front end loop. They'll come down and then attach to the the, the main loop there. Cool, cool. Um, that's the plan for today. Uh, and if I get really keen, or if I get some extra, extra time, I don't think I will, but um, I'll start mounting up 
I think I'll start mounting up this sidecar wheel so I can all sit there um, as it's going to sit. I think that'll be good. So I'll start making up the plates for that. Cool, cool. That's the plan. I'm going to get stuck into it. Okay, cool. So we're going to bend this uh, 7 8 tubing up. Um, so what we did is there'll be a little white mark on there roughly um, from the main beam um, and where we want the bend to start. Um, we always go just a little bit over just to make sure we've got enough uh, tubing on the end there um, because this has to be notched yet and always easier to cut tubing off than to bend it all up and lose that big bit of material. So cool. We're going to bend that now. Um, just going to put the camera over somewhere where I can see some tube bending. Yeah, cool. That looks good. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is we'll tension all this up, which is good. That's because I put it in there just before. We'll spin this around to almost zero. Cool. Um, and we're going to bend it until it's a little bit past 90, probably about 94, 95, somewhere around there. Um, and that's to um, for the spring back that happens um, with this tubing here. So cool. We're going to get that underway. This is only 7 8, so it's not exactly difficult tubing to bend. Um, and it's either 63, uh, 65 thou or 80. 80 what's the 83 thou whatever it is um so it's not exactly super thick walls either um so we're gonna come around to almost the entire way that what we need cool and that will sit in there like that cool um so it's about 45 degrees before the next um pinhole that needs to happen so we'll move that around and we'll start it all again I went to about 94 there, um, 94 degrees, um, but as you can see there, it's only come to about 88. Um, so I do need to go a little bit further. Um, now I've got this, now I've got a better visibility on this. Um, so one of the things that I picked up whilst doing these frames is that it's always good to mark these tubings. Um, before uh, before you do this normally, but gonna do it anyway here. Um, we mark it something like that um, to say to say where where it actually sits in the die. Um, we also mark it around here on the actual um, on the actual. Um, holding piece and then we've got a couple of lines that we've done with the pen to help make sure that we've uh, um, centered or we've got the center lines all running through here um, normally I would mark where this sits as well just so I've got three reference points but I forgot to do that before I started bending because I was too impatient with the video but that's okay so I've got this point here where, where we're going to put it back into the die and where the um, holder should actually come to that gives us a very good reference point um, when we want to, if we want to measure this up, put it back in the die, check the measurements again. Um, because we know this is going to be pretty much bang on 90, um, I shouldn't have to do this. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I may need to bend it to 92, something like that, so it comes back on itself. But we'll, we'll cross that bridge once we go to start setting it up. Cool, so I'm just going to continue to bend this around until about 96 maybe. Uh, it's got a fair bit of spring back into it. So close.
cool we'll check that out oh uh, look at that B E A U Tepal. So that's 90. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, make sure there's no tension on this. There's not. Still sitting at 90. Excellent. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to undo all this and we're going to take it over and see what it looks like on the bike. Uh, excuse all the tape on the engine there. Um, that's just <laughs> me not having the right bolts at the time to. Uh, put that starter motor on properly that's okay cool so we're going to take this over now um I'm going to set somewhere up like here and put this through this side that can go over there I mean, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, yeah, I mean, it's almost come around. Just gonna do that way for a sec. It's almost come around perfectly, the same distance on that side. Um, I've got enough room still, so I've got to watch that um, exhaust come out because it's gonna go down, down that way, and then 90 over to that side of the bike. Um, but I'm pretty happy with that. It's gonna pretty much sit very close to somewhere like that um, by the time i notch this and bring this back in um that's going to come that way probably 20 mil something like that by the time i notch this out um and, and bring that back in um so i can probably turn that a bit we your magnet stay there Cool. It's pretty much going to sit somewhere like that. I was just adjusting that on there. Um, cool. So that's what it's looking like so far. Um, I'm going to do another beam out here. <coughs> I'll show you what I'm talking about on another bike there. Um, so, you know, you can see this beam. This is the main bike and it runs around the outside um, of that one. Um, but I'm talking about this beam here, which is the handle. Um, so I'm going to do um, one of those. Really, it's going to be decorative, I think. I don't think there's going to be kids small enough to hold on to it. But it's going to essentially come out and go up. And maybe in, in go uh, out, up, and then down in there, somewhere like that. Not too sure how I'm going to do that one yet, because there's no... Not really any bottom mount points, but I'll have a think about how I'm going to do it. Cool, cool. Um, that one's all done. Going to notch that one up. Going to notch those two up over there as well. I'm going to get that them set up in the notcher now, and we'll get that underway. So what size do I have over there? I've got one inch. So need one of these ones. Cool. So there's going to be one inch notch on this side. Cool. Um, so I'm going to get this set up in here. I'm going to try and take off as little as I can. Um, probably only be something like that much. I'm going to do that nice and tight. Cool. So essentially what's going to happen now is as I turn the drill on, it'll start spinning um, that way. And as I push, as I push this in that way, it's gonna cut that there. Um, done this up nice and tight, so it doesn't go anywhere. Yep. Ow. Cool. So we're gonna get that all notched up. I do put on all, all on all the um, gear for this, um, including the helmet. Uh, these metal shavings just go everywhere when notching this sort of stuff. And completely out of that, so I'll be back. Oh, ah, 
I don't know how many times I do that, but ah, oh, metal shavings are very hot landing in your shoes. That's why I usually wear jeans. Ow, that was extremely hot. Um, before we put it on, like you'll see the edges, um, just got some bits around them. We'll smooth them all up, but essentially, what it's going to sit like is something like that. Um, yeah, Notch does a really good job of getting it all done. I'll prep it first and I'll come back and show. I'll just show what we do for prepping. That's it. She's nice and prepped up. Come on, camera. Cool. She's nice and prepped up. Um, so this is a, um, you know, a, a grinding, uh, sanding um, band or whatever you want to call it. And then this is a um, Prime MX grinding wheel. Um, anyone thinking about getting one would absolutely recommend. Got a couple of different ones. Um, unfortunately they are in America and shipping just kills it coming over to Australia here, but, um, would recommend anyone thinking about getting them, um, use them all the time. Haven't yet gone through my first set. This one's getting down a bit. Um, but Prime MX, good, really good stuff. Um, if they want to sponsor us, that'd be, that'd be awesome. No, um, cool. Um, but yeah, absolutely would recommend we use it for prepping all of our materials. We, um, aluminium, chromoly, um, tight. Mm, titanium we don't um because titanium we don't do too much um any sort of abrasion with titanium the material gets embedded in it and it becomes very very sketchy to weld um but yeah anything else aluminium chromoly seamless um chromoly plate we we definitely would recommend um and they're just your standard sanding belts so um we just get them off um yeah there'll be a link below uh cool yeah uh cool so we'll go over back um and if i'm getting really really fancy um i'll grab one of these ones would recommend again um this is essentially just a internal um debera just put it inside there and then start deburring anything that's that's in there look at that i mean can't complain whatsoever about the finish on that Cool, so we'll come over here and have a look. Get out of my road room. Cool, we'll come over here and have a look at look what it looks like again. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so that will sit somewhere when it decides to stop mucking around. Um, that will sit somewhere like that. I'm just going to angle it down for the time being because I want to, that front end is probably going to come down. But it, it's going to sit somewhere along along that line there. Um, we'll probably notch up this one over here before we notch up the other end of this. Um, so we can know exactly. So we can sort of get something in the corner then to prep both, pop, prop both up at the same time. Uh, but yeah, that's how it's going to sit on the bike. Cool. We'll get that.